Hello and welcome to the Kudos Dashboard Insight Series, where we discuss the different details, insights and recommendations that can be found in the Kudos Dashboard. In this video, we will discuss the Executive RISP Summary tab. My name is Shankar and I am a FinOps Go-To-Market Specialist at AWS. Let's get started. The Executive RISP Summary tab provides insights into the utilization, discounts and the resulting savings from the use of reserved instances and savings plans across an AWS organization. We will be referring to reserve instances and savings plans as RISP in this video sometimes. Similar to other visuals, the insights can be filtered for payer accounts, linked accounts, and can be customized to add more filters if needed. Before we look at the details shown in this dashboard, one important insight to note is the status of the invoice for the previous month. The insight indicates whether the invoice is finalized or not. And the numbers for the previous month such as discounts and chargeback are estimates until the invoice is finalized. This usually happens around the 14th or the 15th of the following month. We can see here that the invoice for May is now finalized. Now let's look at the details shown in this dashboard. The visuals at the top shows the savings achieved via RISP in the previous month broken down by pricing model and service. In this case, it is about $129,000 with the majority of the savings coming from compute savings plans. It also shows any current and upcoming savings expirations which can be used to take action on renewals. It also shows the unused cost from the underutilization of RI and SP broken down by account and the type of RI SP that are unused. It is useful to set up savings plans and reservation budgets to get notified on underutilization. In this case, the previous month had an unused cost of about $1,850 primarily coming from underutilization of savings plans in account NJTN. Next, we have the RI and SP savings summary visual, which shows the monthly savings from reservations and savings plans by account, which can be drilled down to look at savings by service as well. This can be used by FinOps teams to report on the savings achieved using reservations and savings plans to acknowledge as well as encourage further cost optimization opportunities by different teams. Further down, the average hourly EC2 cost by pricing model can be used to understand the elasticity of EC2 compute usage. The on-demand compute savings plan eligible spend visual on the right shows how much of the remaining on-demand spend could be potentially covered by the compute savings plans. In this case, we see that the on-demand spend is particularly spiky and hence it might be better to run them on-demand or explore the use of scheduling to start and stop instances based on usage. Often, there is a need for showback or chargeback of savings plans and reserve instances across accounts in an organization, particularly when the savings plan and reserve instances are being shared across linked accounts. The savings option for compute by owner and consumer table can be used for this purpose as it shows which account purchased the savings plans or reserve instances, which account consumed them and how much they consumed. Further, the table below that shows the applied discounts from each of the savings plans by product, by region and by instance type. This is very useful to analyze the impact of savings plans on instance types and assess which regions are receiving discounts to plan further purchases or renewals of savings plans. Finally, the RI and SP savings plan tracker can be used to keep a track on expirations and plan renewals accordingly. For example, in this case, we see that there are some savings plans expiring in September 2023, which are currently providing about 30K in savings. When we click on that, we can see more information 
by scrolling down to the table below. This table shows that there is one savings plan associated with that expiration and it is being fully utilized since there are no unused costs. Whereas if you look at say the savings plans that are expiring in October 2025, we see that there are two savings plans associated with that and there are some unused costs related to that. This insight can be used to see if it warrants any action. For example, there might be new workloads deployed soon which may result in this savings plan being used so no action may be needed. Or the FinOps team might even determine that the savings resulting from the savings plan over time will outweigh the unused cost or waste. In conclusion, the RISP summary tab provides a lot of useful insights on reservations and savings plans for FinOps and other teams to use. Thank you for watching.